everybody. Um, this is Cryptic Ink with a new sketchbook. I just finished it yesterday, so I'm excited to show you guys. Um, I started this sketchbook in April. I got it for myself just before my birthday, and I really like moleskins. I was at Barnes and Nobles, so I decided to treat myself. I always come back with two or three extra sketchbooks when I go there. Um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with this sketchbook when I first got it, to be honest. So I was just kind of derping around, doing designs and stuff. It wasn't until the middle of the book, I guess, that I decided it was going to be my inked illustrations. This is a some concepts for a comic that I really want to go forward with been working on it for a while but we'll see how it goes some space alien mermaids yeah I, uh, I wasn't very comfortable with with uh, inking with brush print quite yet I I just got it I didn't use it that often kind of stuck with my pigma senseis but later on I definitely learned to love it I should finish that. Something I want to paint in Photoshop. Something that I've been um, really interested in lately has been forming a community around myself because here I don't I don't meet a lot of artists, you know, in real life. Um, <laughs> a lot of the artists I meet who are pretty cool. They're on the internet. Um, but I don't really, I, I've never really talked to any of them, and recently I started a chat group on Skype called Zombie Studios, and it's actually been kind of nice to, you know, speak to people with the same interest while I'm drawing. It's, it gets lonely as an artist when you're by yourself all the time, and the people that you, you're around they appreciate the art, which is nice, you know? Everyone appreciates something... Ooh, there's nothing there. <laughs> something... pretty, but... It's, it's a whole different level when you're talking to somebody who's as invested in it as you are. It's, it's definitely a relief to meet people that are interested in talking about, you know, creating a portfolio and being a professional someday and you know, just improving all together, and honestly, I really appreciate that, you know, people have even joined the chat group, and I think, I think it's a good idea, we, uh, just hosted a, a hangout session last night, I know I've mentioned it on Tumblr, like, quite often <laughs> already, but, um, you know, it was, it was a, a small handful of people, and we just drew for, for two hours, and, you know, it was, it was great to see what, uh, the others were working on and to talk about like programs and how we got started in art and it's really something that I would love to do in the future. I hope I'm not going th through this sketchbook too fast. So around here actually is where I really started getting into the brush pens. I got a, I think a Pentel, Pentel brush pen, pocket brush pen. I think that's what's called. And then I just, I just went with it. I, I loved it after I figured out how to control it. Um, at first, I mean, whenever I get new art supplies, um, at first I'm very timid. I, I don't want to mess up. I just want to, you know, make good art. But then I, that makes me mess up anyways. Um, and honestly, I just, it was around here where I just started drawing, you know, at least a couple times a week, and. This, I think this was a picture that got me the tattoo apprenticeship that I was hoping to take off with, but it didn't work out. Um, I never got called back. Me. But I do draw a lot of tattoos for people still. I don't think actually tattooing people would be my thing anyways, because I don't like the sight of blood in it. It doesn't freak me out, but I don't want to sit there and look at it. It's not my cup of tea. I really like this dragon. I need to finish that too. There's, 
sometimes I don't ink my sketches. I I used to have this problem where whenever I, I had a, a bad page in my sketchbook, I just I couldn't get past it. And now I just honestly I just forget about it and move on. I if I have a new idea, I don't want to dwell on old stuff in my sketchbook. It's definitely a place for me to experiment. It's um yeah, I mean, not everything has to be perfect. I like to finish my inked illustrations um, you know, as best I can, but if, I, if I'm not feeling it anymore, I kind of just drop it and move on to the next page. And then if I, if I feel like drawing over it, I do, and if I don't, I don't. Man, my voice is cracking. What's going on? I'm like a 12-year-old boy. This is my favorite page, honestly. See, I did it again. And then I really started getting into like big headed chibi things um, around these few pages. I just, I don't know, they're, they're just so easy to fit on the, the, the moleskin, honestly. I can't really, I, I see people do figure drawings in their moleskins and I'm like, man, I need, I need a, a bigger area for those, like, these are just for fun. I couldn't imagine squeezing four or five drawings in there, but I mean, if you can, that's awesome. I, I definitely cannot. It's more of a daily sketch thing. I try to sketch every day. I don't sketch in this book every day. I have another one that no one will ever see where I put all my bad sketches. Just kidding. When I finish it, I'll probably make a video of that too. Um, yeah. I recently got into Instagram. Instagram, I, I actually just learned how to use Instagram, to be honest. You know, like, I don't know, I didn't get it at first. I was like, oh, I post pictures and like them, but it's actually a really good tool. I, I've met a lot of cool people, and I, I had no idea how many people used Instagram daily, I guess. I am just wasn't that hip to it, but... I gave up on this one. It's, uh, yeah, it's, I've met a lot of cool people on Instagram. And, you know, found a lot of really cool artists and tattoo artists, sculptures and stuff. Um, a lot of these are on my, my Instagram, Cryptic Inc., Tumblr, Cryptic Inc. I'll post the links, uh, in the description, but, um, if you want a closer look, you can definitely check it out there. I'm actually kind of surprised that I, I finish a sketchbook. Usually, I do not get to the last page at all. I um, I just I don't know. I get new sketchbooks, and I just I want to use the new one. I, I always buy new sketchbooks, and it's just because they're so cute, and I like I like having different kinds of sketchbooks and trying new things out. Moleskin definitely has been my favorite, just because of the paper thickness. If I can find another sketchbook with thick tan paper, I'm honestly, it doesn't even matter what brand it is as long as it can take a little bit of marker and ink, you know what I mean? Don't you dare swallow. I like these guys. I like drawing things with lots of eyes. I didn't like this, so I moved on. Alright, and that's it. Hopefully you'll see more color in my next sketchbook, but uh, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.